Today, I want to show you a great new tool for learning about how deep learning actually works. And this is the Playground at TensorFlow. And what we're going to do here is actually focus today in today's video on understanding how shallow learning works. And the next video will go on and talk about deep learning. So here's a simple network. You can see there's two inputs and one neuron. And this does what we would call a simple linear classification, right? So if your orange and your blue data are separated in such a way that a nice line separates them, this network is perfect for that. However, in the real world, we often end up with a bit more complicated data. So something like this. And in this case, you'll see the linear classifier has trouble separating out the orange from the blue. Now, if we kind of make the function a little bit more complex here, and for those of you who remember your high school algebra, right, you see the parabolic shape there, you can see it's doing a little bit better job of separating out the blue from the orange, but it's still not perfect, you know, it's still not that great. Well, so what we can do is we can add one more and get build a little bit more complicated function. And in this case, right, you'll see it converges here to a nice circle, right? And you can see our output, our losses are very low. It's doing an excellent job of separating out the orange and the black. Now, if we go to even a more complicated data set, such as here, you'll see that our current network is having trouble separating those out, right? It's trying, but it's not. So what we can do is we can kind of do the same thing we've been doing and build a bit more complicated function. And let's let this build here for a minute and we'll let this see. And you can see it's trying. You can see the loss numbers are slowly going down, but they've basically plateaued. It's really having trouble, even though it's a much more complicated function to be able to separate the orange and blue. And this happens all the time in data science. And one of the ways this problem is attacked is by feature engineering, right? Taking the features that we have, kind of manipulating them, adding new information, trying to find new ways to use them to extract more information out of them. So in this case, right, we have various transformations of our features here that we can add to the problem. And we'll see when we add this along with a more complicated function, and we go ahead and hit it, you'll see it takes a little bit of time, but it converges nicely and it's able to do a pretty good job of separating out the orange from the blue. And so this is an example of how shallow work learning works. And I did recommend all of you go out to the site. It's playground.tensorflow.org. Play around with this with just kind of one hidden layer. Get an understanding of how these shallow networks work. The next time we'll talk a little bit about how deep learning works and the advantages it has there. All right. Well, that's it for today's Rogistic show. Thank you very much.